Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Series 3. We got the 50. We got some souls. We got some news. New currency. We got plenty of stuff to go over, guys. But first, we got a new currency to add some up. Series 3 trophies that you guys see on the screen. I'm just going to dismiss that. just want to show that real quick before I get rid of that. So now my Series 2 trophies, 395. Do cut into half. Convert. I like how they give you a button to do it so you can't complain about it. They let you pick for yourself that you do lose half your trophies. Which, regardless, still hurts the same. Whether or not. Um, but yeah, so guys, you know there's gonna be new pack odds because that's how it works in your series update. But let's get into our Poodle Squad shoutout and our intro before we do go ahead and get into all the content. So for today's Poodle Squad shoutout, guys, if you do want to be shouted out in the next video, or you just like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad. Turn out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you for being a part. But moving on, guys. If you guys want to be shouted out, like I said, turn on the noti bell, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad. But moving on from that, if you guys are new to the channel, just subscribe, come join the family. But everybody, let's get Team Affinity, Team Builders, Series 3. Now, play through another NFL season's earning 88 overall Team Builders. Nat, you get to select from all 32 available Series 3 Team Builder players, seeing Team Affinity missions for more details. So, pretty simple, you can go through all these, play them as you feel free. You gotta play through the entire thing, of course. Uh, well, depending on what you want, like, you know what I mean. Play through, pick what you want, get the free player if you do wanna go ahead and do that. Uh, it's pretty self explanatory. In terms of that, you get your 88 overall player. And if you guys wanna do collect, all you gotta do is come over to sets and go into team affinity to make sure you are collecting it now we'll be over here in team affinity i'll be under team builders and go to team builders fantasy pack so we'll require uh five of these as for this is for the exchange this is for containing your choice of 188 overall team builders players which is also the one from the solos as well so if you guys are into team builders go ahead do them it's really up to you guys let's check out pack odds i'm kind of interested in pack odds because you guys do know a market crash usually does come after a series update just because of the increased pack odds for the first day and the redux is back in packs so let's see let's look at an all pro fantasy 93 overall now gets to a 90 speed which i don't think is still fast enough that that's kind of kill them while i'm not even worrying about upgrading anymore because they don't make them good enough to be used like the way i see it right now it should always be is at the beginning of a new series when you get these upgrades these cards should compete as one of the best cards on your team 90 speed not good enough 91 catching ish or 93 catching is good and all um step farm 86 is good and all and he's got some good stats but i just don't see it right he ha he's and his route running always struggles a little bit too let's go back one more to see what his route running looks like he does get the 90 medium route running or short which is going to hurt him now the medium's one of my favorites quite honestly but 90 speed decent medium route runner not gonna be that great overall andre johnson isn't gonna be a meta car which kind of sucks which is why i stopped focusing on leveling him up doing the whole thing because i'm just not using him he's just good for cams at the damn mills sam mills goes all the way up to a 96 overall as well again haven't been upgrading him either. I'm kind of waiting for next gen to get back onto this like daily, daily grind for this. The thing is, we're so close to next gen. I really want to see that new Madden. I know it's delayed and it really sucks, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Especially with losing my computer and my whole setup and being out of the house all the time. It's been very frustrating. But let's see Sam Mills. So Sam Mills is nine plus nine speed, so he gets between 90 to uh, one speed. That's actually pretty good. For, that's really good for a linebacker. He has a 90 zone coverage, a 75 man. He ends up getting above, I believe it's a 90, I want to say 91 hit power. Could be wrong. I think it's 91 hit power. Guys, this card's really good. Eight, 95 pursuit. This card is really, really good. That zone coverage or 91 speed is going to be huge in the middle of the field. Sam Mills is really good. I recommend you guys do definitely get him done. Uh, you know, keep getting his stuff because that is, that's pretty crazy. Sam Mills is actually a really, really good card overall so go check that out this one's to be the exchange so you can get rid of some of your nat players that way and do a few things there but that's about it for that guys go check out the 50 players lastly for the 50 players total we got jonathan ogden right tackle for the baltimore ravens ogden always is one of the best right tackle cards in the game 94 strength 90 awareness 91 pass block 93 pass block power 92 pass block finesse uh 92 run block 91 run block power and 90 run block finesse so he's an all threshold guy of course power from chemed up he's gonna be really good mid high 90s now do i think he's a must have over some of the lower linemen like 92 91 guys because they all technically they all hit threshold, right? So if you can get like a Walter Jones or one of those guys for cheaper, and I'm not talking about the same position, right? I'm talking about like if you just need A lineman in general to help you know increase the line. Uh, you don't have to add them. If they're all gonna be above 90, 90 thresholds, it's not gonna make the biggest difference to pay the extra. So it's really up to you on that one, but Ogden, of course, is still gonna be the best attack on the game. It's just a matter, is it a matter if you need the mid, mid low nineties versus just the low nineties. I mean at the end of the day, it comes down to what you believe and you know how linemen are. It's very like 90 to 95 still feels the same sometimes 80 to 95 still feels the same so coming down to what you guys believe i do feel like run blocking really does matter with them though but 
Let's move on to the next one, guys. We have Antonio Gates, tight end for the Chargers. You knew he was going to be in here, but only because... Also, I just want to let you guys know, this does not come out now, just so I don't confuse anyone. This is not coming out Series 3. This does come out later in the afternoon, as you guys do know. I never give the set time, because, you know, there could always be a delay. But this will not be out now, so just remember, Series 3 is going to come out first. You can start your level of grind, do all that stuff. Get all that stuff out of the way, and work on that in the morning. And then, of course, um, the 50 will be coming out later in the afternoon, so do stay tuned for that. But, of course, as you do know, it does not come out right now. So just stay. Just making, the, making that clear for people. Sometimes people do come more the 50 players. And by the way, should you pick them up when they drop? I do not recommend picking them up when they drop. I always tell you guys that. Always wait a little bit just in case. So, because the prices will come down by today, tomorrow, Saturday Legends as well. So, just make sure you guys aren't going in, spending a bunch of coins and, you know, wasting your coins to save the second they come out. But that's about it for that, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. It's an 84 speed, 80 strike, 94 catch, 92 catch traffic, 92 spec catch, 91 short route running, 90 medium out running, 74 run block. Now, I feel like the speed ruins him. My Joni Smith I've been rocking with has been faster than him all year. Um, 85 speed is what we're going to cap out with him. When we have guys like Darren Waller getting at like an 88 speed. So I think we're going to have to still stick with a Waller. They both get the rush holds. They both can catch. But that speed is just a difference. Antonio Gates is not that great. Uh, if he had gotten an 86 or 87 speed, I would have been like, he's great because the catching, we're running everything. But even then, I still feel as though Darren Waller is still very competitive because the speed, right? Like that makes a big difference. I think I'd even use Vernon Davis maybe over him. Despite the route running thresholds, I still do get the plus five speed, right? It's really tough, guys. Definitely tough on these. And then next, we have Anthony Barr. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know Anthony Barr has been, like, mad and good, but, like, was he this good? 87 speed, 90 excel, 76 strength, 93 tackle, 91 play rec, 88 block shed. So, he has no power move, no finesse. He's going to have a good zone, though. So, I mean, I guess if you're looking for a linebacker with zone, you can use him, but, like, you could just put, you know, like I said, you could just put a safety there. Uh, I don't think he really, especially because if he could pass rush in that zone, it'd be different, but he can't. So he's going to get 88 speed. He's going to be a decent run. He's going to be a run stuffer, though, with zone, though, which is kind of rare. Uh, usually you don't get a mix of that. So if you can get his run stuff above 90 with the run stuff cam, and you can also use his zone, he could be really good, but it really, it's up to you guys. But again, in my, in my rankings here, okay, so worst, I'm putting Antonio Gates at three, Anthony Barr at two, and then Jonathan Ogden at one. Those are my ratings there. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want a chance to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn that noti bell. Uh, shout out to True Radiant once again for being a part of the Poodle Squad. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, pick up any of the 50 players today. Anything for Series 3, pop some packs. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Take advantage of the discounted coins for Halloween. Enjoy yourself. Just go Poodle 15% off your order. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.